So personal is what it is. It's actually very personal. Uh, it's the story about me and my family. Uh, so everyone in my family is deaf except for me. And Osborn is my first language. I'd say the last 10 years I've worked a lot with many different communities and I felt it now was time to tell my story. I think because I'm ready to tell it. It's a very important story because it's not just mine. I represent millions of people like me who hear and grew up in a deaf family or have deaf parents. We're called coders, children of deaf adults. I'm bicultural. I'm hearing. There is the hearing bank. I can't be on either bank. But like a river, I can run between connecting the two. I started writing personal in 2011, and at that time I didn't want to talk about it. I started to draw pictures, hundreds of them, memories of my childhood in comic strip, funnily enough. Over time, it's evolved into a script, it's evolved into film. So it's interesting the way I've represented myself in this work. It's almost like there's different personalities. <laughs> it's a bit it's confronting. You know, she comes as a child, she comes through as an interpreter, she comes through as a very angry teenager. <laughs> and she comes through as a daughter and a sister, as a coder, and as another fellow human that says, Wake, Wake up, up people. people. The discrimination is very real. The, the impact, impact is very real. And I don't want to keep it quiet anymore. For me, art is a mirror to society, to always point to an, an imagined future, a new future, or pointing to things that are missing from the common. Mm. A missing a garden. Yet each species represents a different community. The big tall trees get all the sunlight. Yet others barely have roots. My artistic practice is to clear some space, plant a seed and encourage the taller trees to let in more light and witness the seed grow. Being invited to a dinner party. You know, access is walking through the door. Inclusion is sitting at the table. And they're just, they're two different things. The message that I want people to take away from personal is that every family is unique and that we're all unique, but some of our uniqueness is a little bit more obvious than others. I really want people to just go, oh, this is just a regular family, you know, who love each other and struggle and do their best in life to achieve their dreams. And wow, just because they're deaf, it's like way harder. Why? It shouldn't be like that. What a shame, because I really like that family. I'd like to have dinner with them. It's as simple as that.